Hey guys, it's me, Sue Joy. Uh, I'm back with another video. So, um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, is there racism in Vietnam? Um, spoiler alert um, yes, there is, um, absolutely. Um, now, this is from my personal experience. Uh, you know, I run a YouTube channel, uh, it's growing. And, you know, I don't like to create fluff videos uh, or, you know, try to show some kind of a rosy picture. Um, you know, it's uh, the videos which I make are based on are based entirely on my personal experience. Um, you know, um, my interaction with, um, you know, with Vietnamese, um, you know, people, you know, um, uh, primarily customer service, uh, how I get treated. Um, you know, if I go to a coffee shop or if I go to a restaurant or a fast food joint. Um, so uh, for for those who don't know anything about me, um, you know, my name is, uh, you know, I'm from I'm from India. And, uh, you know, I've been living here in uh, Ho Chi Minh for around five years now. Uh, but um, lately I've been staying here at the countryside for a couple of months now because, um, you know, uh, prices are going up in uh, Saigon uh, when we talk about the inflation, housing. Um, so I, I did my graduation from the States. Uh, I was in Europe for, for 10 years. I did my schooling over there. I'm pretty much well-traveled. I've traveled very well in Southeast Asia and in Europe. Uh, and I'm originally from India, so uh, most of my, um, you know, uh, I, you know, I was always international, and you know, so I'm just going to talk about. Uh, let me just fix the screen over here. Yeah, so I'm just going to talk about the um, the racism problem here in Vietnam now. Um, so I'm a person of color. I have uh, dark brown skin. And, you know, I, I, I love myself. I love who I am, you know, and I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change anything about it. Um, so, um, yes, uh, it's definitely a bit challenging for me. Uh, it's a lot challenging uh, for me, um, you know, especially in Ho Chi Minh. Um, I've stayed in Hanoi for two months and I can tell you that was even worse. Um, you know, the customer service in Hanoi was really pathetic. Uh, a lot of rude people, and I was just shocked. Um, you know, I couldn't stay there anymore. I decided to come down to the south, um, you know, because I think Ho Chi Minh City is a bit better compared to Hanoi. But still, there are a lot of challenges um, which I actually face here in Hanoi. Uh, let me just have a bit of uh, tea. <clears throat> so, um, Primarily, I I face a lot of discrimination, um, especially if I am around District One area in uh, Ho Chi Minh. So, as we know, that District One is catered primarily to tourists, but uh, sadly, um, it's catered mainly towards white tourists. Uh, I mean, if you have uh, white pale skin. Uh, you know, you'll be treated very nicely. Uh, I mean, even if you go to the coffee shops, uh, restaurants, um, you, you know, you name it. But, um, you know, like if, 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 like, uh, like if you have dark brown skin and I don't know what's up, you know, like, um, you know, because of course, I'm pretty sure that when Vietnamese people look at me, you know, they, they see, you know, like this guy is like an India type person. Um, I, I, I do see a kind of a, a big dislike towards Indians um, here in Vietnam, um, you know, uh, which I also found in Hanoi. Um, you know, I, I don't know what's in their mind. Uh, like I told you, if you watch in one of my videos, previous videos, um, when Vietnamese people think about India, they just um, think about yoga or, you know, curry. Um, I think the knowledge is very limited and I think they also feel that India is a very poor, uh, impoverished country, uh, which is not true because um, the Indian econ economy is doing extremely very well. It's much bigger than Vietnam's and uh, we are very strong in defense. Um, you know, we got the latest technologies and everything. 
Um, but I think, um, I think uh, because, you know, like the globalization is taking place and a lot of other countries, they are, they are understanding the importance of, of India. Uh, I think it's somewhere lagging down behind here in Vietnam because for them, you know, like India, what they call in Vietnamese, Ando, um, you know, it's, you know, it, 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 it's like a joke for them, you know, it's like a joke for them, you know, and, you know, they still feel that, you know, Ando people are, you know, some kind of a joke or something, uh, comical characters. Um, which personally affects me because, uh, you know, I'm from India and, you know, I really don't give two flying fucks what um, the Vietnamese society think over here about India. And, um, you know, I, I believe that even I've seen a couple of uh, Vietnamese media news. Um, I don't think they talk a lot of good things about India. They show all the negative sides about India, of India. And a couple of these uh, Vietnamese YouTubers who got a lot of subscribers, they go to India and they go to all these slums and uh, uh, they deliberately go to those slum areas and, you know, they try to show, you know, this is India and all that. I think that's really fucking bullshit because um, the mindset is really very low. So um, let's just uh, let's just talk about the... Um, the racism problem which I have experienced here in Vietnam. Um, I believe I saw one of the YouTube videos and it was talking about, you know, colorism here in uh, Vietnam. Yes, um, the Vietnamese society in general is very infatuated with uh, white pale skin. So, um, like, you know, if you have pale white skin, uh, you will be treated very nicely. You know, they'll be very sweet with you. But if you have a dark brown skin or if you are, uh, you know, if you have black skin, uh, they will think that, you know, you're some kind of a low class expat and, you know, they'll, they'll treat you differently. They'll treat you rudely, poorly. Um, I know this is applicable in other parts of Southeast Asia. You know, I've experienced this a bit in Thailand, um, definitely in Cambodia, I've experienced a bit, but uh, not to such a great extent. You know, um, uh, here it's a bit, I think it's a bit extreme out here, especially when I'm talking about Ho Chi Minh City, uh, primarily District 1 area. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of a bit extreme, um, extreme in a sense that, you know, the lack of smile. I'll just give you a good example. This morning I went to a coffee shop down at District 3. Uh, it's a very nice coffee shop. You know, I always had a good experience. But today when I went there, um, I just entered the coffee shop and, you know, there's no welcome, nothing. The girl, she just stands right in front of you and, you know, she doesn't want to help you out with the, uh, with the drinks. Um, you know, they don't have this concept over here. Like if I'm going to be asking them, you know, what's the special for today? Or do you have a nice soothing coffee? Or what's the special lunch or breakfast? Um, that's the reason why customer service really sucks in Vietnam because they take you for granted. They just take the fucking money. Uh, they're pretty rude. Um, uh, yeah, and you feel very intimidated. You just don't feel, feel good about it, you know, and, you know, like, you know, especially, you know, if I go to a coffee shop in the morning, uh, like, you know, maybe Highland Coffee or, um, you know, a, a proper decent coffee shop. Chances are that I'll be treated poorly because of my skin color and You know, it ruins my whole fucking day, you know, I mean We need to realize that it's been over a year now and you still don't have that 90-day visa come back to Vietnam uh, You know the media keeps on talking about You know tourism is exploding in Vietnam and whatever I don't think that's the case in fact it's the opposite the tourism is the numbers are have dropped um, you know, if you're not going to take care of the racism problem here in Vietnam, if the media is not going to address about it, um, you know, and if the government is not going to do anything about it and just going to feel like, okay, uh, Indian people in Vietnam need to be treated poorly, you know, they need to be discriminated, um, that is a wrong way to go about it because, um, you know, I believe a lot of Indian tourists um, have visited uh, Vietnam last year 
uh, even this 2023 because it's a big market. You know, I mean, we really want to be, we want to invest in Vietnam. We want to, we want to visit your beautiful country. You know, I mean, uh, um, most of the people back home in my country, you know, they 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 love Vietnam. You know, I mean, they they feel like, oh, it's uh, you know, we want to go there. It's a really you know fast moving economy. Uh, you know, so why 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 treat us poorly? You know, I mean, I have had this, I have had racism problem. Um, you know, I mean, discrimination problem when I go to coffee shops, um, you know, restaurants, especially in District One. Um, you know, sometimes when I check in the hotels, um, you know, you have the rude reception people, and they're not very friendly. I mean, in general, um, Vietnamese people, according to me, are not friendly. Uh, they're not very mixing type people. They like to keep themselves. They like to keep to themselves. Um, you know, and it's not the way to go about it because you know, if you really want to globalize yourself, if Vietnam really wants to globalize itself and make it the ideal tourist uh, destination attraction, uh, you have to start to learn to to be friendly with uh, all nationalities because yes, there is a lot of colorism here in. Um, in Vietnam, you know, and of course, uh, if you watch one of my previous videos, I spoke about the white privilege problem here in Vietnam. Like, you know, I mean, these white tourists, you know, when they come from Europe and from America, South Africa, Australia, uh, New Zealand, uh, you know, they they come with a very cold. They come with this attitude that, oh, I'm white. I'm go I'm going to be around here in Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Thailand. So. I'm going to be treated very uh, royally. Um, you know, I've lived in Australia for many years. I've stayed in states before. I worked in, uh, you know, in uh, night fill shifts. Um, you know, I've seen the reality. You know, and you know, and it hurts. You know, like especially, you know, um, you know these white tourists. Um, they, you know, when they, when I, when I, you know, when I, when I'm, when I'm there at a coffee shop or if I'm at a, uh, you know, at district one or something, you know, they always, you know, they give you that pathetic look, um, you know, they're the ones, you know, who are actually, you know, cold towards a person like me, you know, I mean, I'm from India. Um, they feel like, who the fuck is this guy, you know, or, you know, and they should look at their, you know, they have that racist attitude, which they get. You know, and I think that's really bullshit because um, that's not the way to go about it. I mean, we have a lot of white tourists coming and visiting India and, you know, their mindsets are very different. You know, uh, they like to, um, you know, be extra friendly. Um, so, you know, yeah, I do. I, yeah, it's there a lot in District 1. And of course, for especially if you're a Caucasian person, a white person, District 1 would be the most comfortable place for you to stay in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, even District 2, um, because, you know, that's where all the white people are there. And, you know, it's so sad to see that, you know, um, just because you have white pale skin, uh, you know, you get, you can easily get an English teaching job. You can get good opportunities here in Vietnam, um, which brings uh, to, which brings back to this point is, yes, there is a lack of opportunity, you know, especially, you know, if you have dark brown skin. And if you're from India, you're going to get a lot of discrimination uh, during the hiring process if you want to teach English. Um, you know, even if you have an American degree, uh, like I have an American degree, uh, I have an Australian TESOL certificate, but still I go through a lot of racism and discrimination when it comes to ESL teaching hiring uh, here in Vietnam. Um, uh, and of course, um, you know, it's it's a sad reality. I, I don't think there is a lot of opportunity to grow for people, uh, for expats, if you are a person of color. Uh, you are going to be, um, I mean, they are, you are going to be discriminated, discriminated um, somewhere down the line. Even if you're working in a corporate environment, like I told you, colorism is absolutely favored over here. And I mean, the Vietnamese society, they're like infatuated with white skin. Um, you know, if you have fair skin, white skin, um, they're going to be extra nice to you, polite to you. So I think the mindset of the Vietnamese society towards Indians, um, towards Indian people, Indian nationality, uh, is not very favorable, which I'm observing. Um, they have these, um, 
you know, these low thoughts, you know, like I said, when they think about India, they, they talk about yoga only and curry and coffee and tea. You know, they make fun of the Indian accent. You know, that's not the way um, how I want the Vietnamese society to move, progress ahead. Uh, because back home, yes, uh, you know, we have high regards of Vietnam. So, um, you know, I don't want this bilateral um, relationship to, to get down the shithole. You know what I mean? Um, yes, there is a lot of Chinese influence here in Vietnam, especially in Hanoi. And which I also saw in Cambodia. But uh, that's a questionable relationship, actually. And, um, you know, I mean, even, even I just want to touch base, you know, like especially these South Koreans uh, and these Japanese tourists who come and visit Vietnam, you know. Uh, you know, I, I have had ex experiences with them, you know, and they come with their, you know, Japanese pride and, you know, South Korean, you know. I know how the situation is back there in South Korea. I've even watched YouTube videos where they don't allow Indians to come in the nightclubs. I mean, that's so racist. Uh, you know, of course, those kind of societies, um, it's definitely a very racist society. And, you know, they bring that, they bring that attitude over here in Vietnam. Um, I think that's a really wrong way to go about it because if you're coming to an international country, uh, you should come with the international mindset. You should not be thinking like, oh, that guy is from India. You got to treat him shit or, you know, just, you know, I don't give, uh, you know, that's not the way to go about it. You know, I'm not talking about, I'm not bragging that, you know, OK, I'm from India. But what I'm saying is uh, being a dark skinned foreigner here in Vietnam, uh, there are a lot of challenges which I'm still experiencing over my five years of stay here in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, you know, there is a huge potential um, opportunity uh, for changing all this, you know, and it all comes with awareness, media awareness. I mean, the government should also step in and look into all this, you know. I mean, if you if you type customer service in Vietnam on YouTube, it's not a very positive. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't be finding a lot of positive videos about it because you know, I mean, the customer service, definitely what I'm seeing is that, you know, like if you're a person of color, if you have dark brown skin, they're going to mix the racism, um, you know, uh, element or, you know, and they're going to be putting that with the customer service. You know, they will treat different expats differently based on your skin color. Um, I think that's a very wrong way to go about it. You know, even, you know, like even these, uh, you know, these American fast food joints like, you know, McDonald's, Vietnam. Um, you know, um, Highland Coffee Shop, all these major coffee outlets here in Vietnam, Phuc Long, uh, you know, is the same attitude altogether. You know, like if I go to these coffee shops or fast food joints or, or Burger King also, and if I want to order something, you know, like the boys or the girls who are serving me, they're pretty rude. They're not very friendly because they judge you very fast that, you know, oh, you got dark brown skin. Uh, you're not a pale skinned foreigner. You don't have white skin. You look like you're from India. So we're going to treat you poorly. And, you know, it's not a joke. I mean, because, you know, like if I don't have a good customer service experience here in Vietnam, you know, I definitely go. The first place where I go is write a Google review. And that's not good for your business. You know, I mean, I've even had racism problem, you know, when I was when I when I had to book some ticket from the Vietjet office in Hanoi. So. It's, it's embedded in every element of the society here in Vietnam, you know, I mean, but surprisingly, you know, like if I go to a simple coffee shop or a small time coffee shop, it's a different environment altogether because, you know, like people are a bit more nicer and polite. Uh, even, at the, even, in, even if you're staying in the countryside, you know, um, you know, people are a bit more different. But I fail to understand, you know, in Ho Chi Minh City or in Hanoi, uh, you know, especially in District 1 in Ho Chi Minh City, you know, it's like flat out, you'll experience a lot of, you know, discrimination and racism based on your skin color, nationality. Um, you know, so so I think, I think, I think uh, you know, Vietnam needs to do something about it. And, you know, um, I, I don't want to complain, but, you know, isn't it kind of strange that it's been over a year now and, you know, still it's just that one month tourist visa. <clears throat> And many foreigners, they want to stay here in Vietnam long term, you know. 
um, you know, maybe, you know, they, they want to, uh, you know, they want to work up on, you know, maybe they're digital nomads or maybe they're YouTubers. Um, but, you know, if you're just going to be enforcing that 30 day visa and, you know, it doesn't make sense, you know, because you're spending, we as foreigners are spending a lot of money, you know, like maybe flying to Thailand uh, and then coming back to Vietnam just for that $25 visa or going to Cambodia and getting that and having a very bad experience doing the border run uh, uh, from Vietnam to Cambodia because, you know, uh, you encounter a lot of racist racism out there, especially if you are from India. <clears throat> like, you know, you got to show $500 uh, as funds and a return fly home ticket or something. Um, you know, so I fail to understand why, why is Southeast Asia in general, like, you know, yeah, you know, let's, so let's start with Vietnam. Why have a cold attitude towards Indian nationals? You know, I mean, we are, we're coming here, we're spending money, uh, we are investing, uh, there is a huge potential, you know, so why spoil this bilateral relationship, you know? Um, you know, I, I just, I just fail to understand that. And, you know, I don't think, I don't think all Vietnamese people, you know, are very used to people of color, you know, especially foreigners of color, you know, like I've seen, like today, you know, I was having lunch at McDonald's and I saw one black guy, I think he was from Nigeria, and he was just politely asking, you know, where he can park his motorbike or something, but, and the security guy, you know, at McDonald's, he was so rude to him, you know, he was like, you know, you know, wishing him away like that. Uh, these kind of attitudes are really bad, you know, because... That's not the way how I want it, you know. I mean, that's not the way I want, uh, how I want the Vietnam society to progress, you know. I mean, because you guys should get adjusted, you know. It doesn't have to be only white foreigners that, you know, okay, um, you know, um, oh, you're white, you know, we're going to treat you really nicely. You're going to get an English teaching job. I've even had, um, you know, I've even, uh, you know, I've even observed, you know, like a couple of these, uh, you know, one white guy, you know, he's half my age, he lands over here in Ho Chi Minh City and he doesn't have a teaching certificate and, you know, the school just hires him and he later told me because uh, the principal of the school said, uh, we don't care about your teaching degree, you're white, you have white skin, that's all what the parents are looking for, you know. And, you know, of course, you know, if you're going to be teaching English in Vietnam, if you have dark brown skin or if you have black skin, you are going to also face discrimination from the students um, because they'll feel like, OK, teacher, why, why, are, you, why are you dark skin or uh, teacher, uh, you from uh, teacher, uh, uh, you from India? Oh, OK. I mean, the view, the, the negative view the mindset. But if they hear about Australia, you know, or, you know, you're from Europe, oh, wow, you know. Um, and, you know, so, you know, when I'm talking about the institution, you know, like the institutionalized racism is definitely here in Vietnam. And I don't give a fuck, you know, what 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 you guys try to justify in the comment section that, oh, uh, these are just your thoughts, you know, uh, you're overreacting or you're a fucking low life and all that, uh, because at the end of the day, you, you know, I, I, I know there, there are going to be a lot of key, key, keyboard warriors and, you know, pretending, oh, I'm a black dude, you know, I have been treated so nicely here in Vietnam, uh, but maybe, you know, you're a white dude, you know, because, you know, this is a very controversial hush-hush topic. Nobody wants to talk about it. I mean, just because you're white, you know, you, you, you feel like if, if you're a white person in Vietnam, you feel like, oh, I'm not going to, uh, you know, I'm not going to uh, look into this, you know how other foreigners of different skin color feel about it. You know, I, I'm so sad to see that, you know, these, um, you know, these famous YouTubers, you know, like white skin YouTubers, um, they're not addressing this issue, you know, like they're just doing it for their political gains, you know, like, you know, you know, things to eat in Vietnam, uh, places to hang out, the best bun me in Viet Vietnam. But, you know, you got a lot of subscribers and everything and a lot of followers, but why don't you touch base on these sensitive topics, you know, even like, you know, a couple of these, um, you know, these uh, teaching language uh, certificate channels, you know, uh, they don't want to highlight, you know, the racism problem uh, or, you know, the English teaching racism problem here in, uh, in Vietnam, you know, they just want to promote their services, their teaching services. 
Um, so, you know, like they're just going one way, but, you know, you need to keep a balanced, uh, balanced approach, you know. So, yeah, I mean, uh, definitely uh, coming from India and having dark brown skin, uh, you know, I face a lot of challenges. I'm still, I still do face a lot of discrimination, um, you know, when I visit, you know, uh, coffee shops. I love drinking coffee. Uh, or, you know, I, I don't even feel comfortable if I want to go to a nice restaurant in Vietnam because I'll feel I'll be treated very poorly and, you know, they're not used to it. Uh, so, you know, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm back in those olden days in South Africa where the apartheid movement where, you know, black people should be uh, going towards that direction and white people should be going towards the privileged location direction. Um, so, you know, I feel like that kind of a segregation, you know, and, you know, of course the rudeness, uh, you know, you know, it all depends, you know, like rudeness, the attitude, the unfriendliness, um, you know, so if you're not going to be, if Vietnam is not going to be focusing on these sensitive issues, um, how can you consider Vietnam to be the next Singapore or, um, you know, because Singapore is a very, um, you know, di is a very diverse society. You know, it's a very multicultural society. There are a lot of Indian Singaporeans, uh, Malay Singaporeans, uh, Chinese Singaporeans, and they all live in harmony, you know. Um, and, you know, it's like everybody's treated equally fairly. But if you're just going to be uh, mixing up racism and customer service here in Vietnam, or for, uh, you know, for teaching opportunities or for job opportunities here in Vietnam. Uh, that's not the way to go about it. And of course, uh, it's going to impact tourism in Vietnam in the long run. Uh, because, you know, the next, the next person who, the next guy, you know, uh, if, if somebody is from India, wants to come to Vietnam and he's going to be watching this video or he's going to be checking that, oh, there's a lot of racism in Vietnam. Do you think that person really wants to invest his money to come to Vietnam and explore the beautiful country, explore your beautiful country? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, these kind of challenges need to be tackled. You know, I mean, it's a shame that, you know, corporations here in Vietnam, you know, big coffee outlets, uh, you know, fast food joints here in Vietnam, restaurants here in Vietnam, big malls in Vietnam, you know, or, you know, like even airline companies here in Vietnam, you know, when they're training these staff members, uh, they should implement this, you know, they should implement that, you know, you should treat every foreigner in a nice manner, irrespective of their skin color, uh, you know, or where, or where they come from. It doesn't matter if the foreigner is white, brown, yellow, um, you know, treat everyone nicely, you know, I mean, then of course, uh, it's going to be very beneficial for Vietnam in the long run. So I think I've just, uh, you know, uh, really given all my thoughts uh, in this video. So again, is there racism in Vietnam? Uh, according to me, yes, there is. Um, so these kind of challenges definitely need to be looked upon. I would say the media needs to address this. The government needs to step into this. Um, you know, so there should be some kind of a national drive to, to fix this problem here in Vietnam, especially in Ho Chi Minh City, uh, even in Hanoi, so that, you know, we don't need to go up to social media or, you know, make another YouTube video about our personal bad experiences, you know. So, you know, if Vietnam wants to be the next Singapore, then, you know, all these kind of things need to be, these kind of issues really need to be tackled. So uh, with that being said, um, you know, you guys have a great day and I'm, and I, I, I want to hear from you guys. I'm not going to disable the comment section for this video. So I don't give a two flying fucks for the keyboard, key, keyboard warriors, uh, you know, no matter how much you try to justify. But let's address this problem. You know, I mean, it, it really needs to be done. You know, I mean, it's been it's been there for so long now. So, um, you know, with that being said, you guys have a great day. Peace out.